Hello, my friends. Your Adaptability Leadership Shifter for today, how to build an independent problem-solving team. I'm Aaron Schmuckler, co-founder and trainer at the YesWorks, where we help you build a high-performance accountability culture on your team that is fun and fulfilling to work in. Now, as a leader, you have people coming to you for help solving problems that you want them to be able to solve on their own. So, here's a tool to help with that. Use the SMART model to help them quickly gain the experience that they need to adapt and to respond to changing circumstances the way that you'd want them to. I admit, SMART is kind of a cheesy acronym, and the cheese helps you to remember, and that's important because if you don't remember, you won't do it. So, the SMART model. S. Slow down. Just giving them the answer may be quicker in the short run, and it will certainly ensure that you approve of the solutions that they decide to employ. It'll also ensure that your people remain dependent on you for all their problem-solving needs. This step is crucial because by slowing down, you create the possibility of solving your problem, the problem that people are coming to you to solve their problems for them. And giving them the answer is the easy thing. It's addressing the symptom rather than the root cause. On to M. Make it theirs. Try saying something like, oh, you've got a problem. Well, thank you for identifying that problem before it gets out of hand. Keep me posted on your progress. This communicates not only that you view the problem as theirs, but also that uh, your expectation is that they will uh, solve the problem on their own. You even seem to think that they must only be informing you because, of course, they're not expecting you to bail them out. On to A. Ask. Before they go, Ask them if they've considered this variable or that factor. Ask them what resources they intend to employ. Ask them to keep you in the loop. That way, you ensure that they are thinking about the things, thinking about the factors that you want them to be considering. R. Reflect. Reflect some of what your experience has taught you about the situation. Look out for this. Be sure to get input from over here. When we tried X in the past, uh, Y happened as a result. By reflecting your experience to the people who work with you, you give them the benefit of your expertise in a way that supports their autonomy instead of usurping it. And they come to think of you as a resource for learning rather than a resource for quick and easy solutions. T. Trust their judgment. At first, their solutions may not be as good as yours. In fact, they probably won't be. Trust their solutions to be good enough. You didn't hire no fools, and if their initial solutions are only 75 to 80 percent as good as yours, you're still ahead of the game because your time is better spent leverage doing things only you can do. And as they learn and gain confidence by acting with autonomy and getting some wins, they'll become more and more valuable to the team as their skills and their confidence grow. And soon, their solutions will be better than your solutions ever would be because they're closer to the problem. So the people on your team are smart, and you are smart too, and with a smart leadership response to people who come and ask you to solve problems for them, then everyone's smarts will soon be working full strength to help advance your company. Thank you for your efforts to make work good. Together, we can ensure that people are good for work, and work is good for people. You believe in your team. Let us help expedite its growth and its coming together as a cohesive whole. Book a call today at theyesworks.com. Make work good.